Hey guys, my name is Colton Calmer. I'm a service technician here at Revolution Machine Tools. Today I want to talk to you about our Pipe Spool Master 16. Um, this typical machine right here goes from all the way down to 1 inch up to 16 inch pipe. Um, it's a manual machine. Up here up front you got your vise open and closed, so unclamp and then clamp. Then you move your headstock back and forth by spinning the hand wheel. Um, the other nice thing about this is you can take your vices and move them up and down, which is the find true center of your pipe to put on that perfect bevel. Um, we'll go over the control a little bit as well. So you have your vise clamp and unclamp. Go ahead and clamp it back up. You have your amp meter, which is a load limiter for your spindle, so you can determine how much load that you're putting on your spindle. Um, you have variable speed and start and stop and emergency stop. Also you have clockwise and counterclockwise to select which way you want your spindle to spin. All right, now we're going to go over the controls of the Pipe Master 16. So up front here you have your e-stop, you have your vice clamp and unclamp. So you can open it up and clamp it back up. You also have a, very, or a slip clutch which is able to determine how much pressure you put on your pipe. So if you have thinner wall pipe it won't distort it, you can actually loosen up the pressure. Um, up here on the actual control you have vice clamp and unclamp as well so you can open it. You can also close it back up from the control. Um, you have your power button, you have your amp meter. This is the load limiter on your spindle so it's going to tell you how much load that you're putting on your spindle. Um, we also have a variable speed drive for the spindle so you can select your spindle speed. Um, you can spin the spindle clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, you have your start and stop and also your e-stop. So we'll go ahead and fire up the machine and then show you how to perform a cut on it. Um, we'll start it up right now. So just so you can see that it's variable speed, we'll slow it way down. And then we can speed it back up. So now we'll perform a cut. We'll slow this down just a little bit. And you'll grab the hand wheel and just start feeding it in. And just like that, we put a 37 degree taper on a piece of pipe. Um, we'll go ahead and open it up and show you what the product looks like. And then there's your finished part.